We're here with Dr. John Link with BreastLink. Thank you for joining us at Every Way Woman, Dr. Link. Well, tell us about BreastLink. It's, it's such a unique organization. What is it all about? It is a comprehensive treatment for women with breast cancer in which doctors and staff uh, are dedicated solely to, to one disease and taking care of women and an occasional man with breast cancer. So it's the, the breast cancer has really evolved or the, or the treatment has evolved in the last 25 or 30 years. And a woman today with a newly di with a new diagnosis of breast cancer really should have a comprehensive opinion and a treatment team. Why is this so state of the art? Why aren't other organizations doing something like this? Hmm. Um, I think it takes uh, resources and dedication, and doctors have to be passionate about what they're doing and have to kind of, in a sense, put their egos aside and work together as a team so that uh, the woman is the beneficiary of that kind of collaboration, that working together. And that's, in medicine, that sometimes doesn't happen. To put that ego aside, it's right. hard for a lot of doctors to do who are driven. And... Right. Well, tell me about the design of the facility, because I visited your uh, facility in Orange County, and it was just beautiful. I mean, you just walk in, and you just know you're somewhere different. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have the glaring light. All of the lighting is very soft, you know, the colors. And it's so patient-focused. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, it's, um, you know, for a woman coming into the facility, obviously the issue is breast cancer. And many women are coming in with a lump or an abnormality on a mammogram. Many come in with a diagnosis, and a vast majority are kind of ongoing with their treatment. So we want to make it really comfortable and pleasant and beautiful. But in the facility, we've got Imaging, state-of-the-art imaging, mammography, ultrasound, MRIs, uh, stereotactic biopsies, everything that's needed from a, from a diagnostic imaging point of view. We've got surgery, plastic surgery, uh, reconstructive. All of the specialties. Medical oncology so that every, everybody's together. So, so you have the state-of-the-art technology, but what I like about it too is that it's not sterile feeling at all. I mean, you have, you know, just um, from the beginning, you know, the patients are given a pager so that their name won't be called out. I thought that detail was really nice because it really just shows, you know, women are nervous, you know, coming in. Right. And just from the get-go to respect them, to know some of them might not want their name called out. Right. I, I really like that touch. And, you know, you have lockers for all of the women going into uh, the mammography so they can have their things in a safe place. Are those things that you... You know, did you put in details like that? Were those things that you had, you know, heard from your patients of, oh, I was really nervous about this or that, that you brought to light when putting the facility together? It wasn't me personally, but over the years, we've found what, from feedback from women, what really makes them feel better about being there and being comfortable. So it's been an evolution over a number of years. So tell us a little bit about breast cancer in general, of how it's changed in the media. I mean, there's so much, obviously, you know, we see pink ribbons on everything these days. And, you know, obviously part of that is great for the awareness. But do you think it's all helpful? Uh, I think it's not 100% helpful, but breast cancer is a very c complex disease. And, uh, you know, one of the well, let me say that the cure rate in, has gone from 55% 25, 30 years ago when I started as an oncologist to close to 90% today. So we made huge strides. But what's equally important is that our treatments aren't so harsh and toxic and deforming as they used, used to be. So we're, we're, the cure rate's higher, but yet women come out better, more whole. Uh, less side effects. So in a, in a sense, we're doing more but doing less to achieve our goal, which is to cure as many women with the disease as possible. So can uh, women and actually, you know, everyone feel comfortable that the dollars being raised for breast cancer awareness are actually going into, you know, the cure rate and, and making it better for women? It's not just going into marketing? I believe that a majority of the money is going into research and and helping helping the cure rate. Uh, 
Yes. Well, tell us what's next for Breastlink. Is this something that you want to ex uh, expand across the country? Would you like to take on different uh, cancers? Or obviously with Breastlink, you know, you'd have to change the name. But is this a kind of a concept that you want to see expand? Yes, I think that I'm not sure it will be us. I think we want to expand what we do in Southern California, but it really involves getting teams of physicians and uh, physician assistants, nurses, medical assistants, staff that are dedicated to one disease. If you begin to open it up to all cancer, then that gets a little more diffuse. So um, one of the things that's very helpful is that when we're all focused on one disease and we talk and we meet, we meet every uh, every week at a major conference and go over all the newly diagnosed women that are diagnosed during that week. We develop plans and really it's cost effective. We don't have to duplicate things. Um, so it, it's a very good system. And I would like other other cities uh, uh, across the across the world really. To be a, for women to be able to benefit from such programs. Okay, well, they can find out more information at breastlink.com, and we'll be back with Everyday Women.